Hello everyone, again this is Mike Hodge from Vision 33 Total Care Support. I'm a senior consultant here with Vision 33 and handle all the level 2 financial and operational processes in SAP Business 1 for the support department. What we'll be going over today is how to set up the 1099 table along with minimums, where the form and print layout design are for the 1099 forms, how to set up the BP Master, how to enter opening balances, then we'll move into how to process a 1099 AP invoice. And again, those that is for those who have not done it yet and they wish, wish to do it for this year, 2014, but we'll get in to the process of how to edit them once you've done them for the year and how you can do your 2013 1099 report issuing this year and we'll end up with questions and answers. Okay, so the first thing is, and let me just mention this to start with, 1099s, unlike most of our other processes, are scattered throughout the menu options. For example, we'll be going from financials to administration setup to financial reports and accounting. There's three or four places in which the 1099 process is edited and used and run. So this meeting will be archived and, and put on the website. So if you don't remember every place that we're going today, remember that you can just go to our website, uh, which I'll put in the chat box at the end, which is our, our archived web chats. And you can go through this process on your own uh, and look through the, the presentation at your own leisure. Right. So the first thing is 1099 setup. And that is under administration, setup, financials, 1099 table. Now, this is where, for example, most of us will do 1099 miscellaneous. And many of us will just do non-employee compensation. Now, I don't know what the current minimum 1099 is. Back in my day, uh, when I was in college, the minimum was uh, $500. I'm sure it's higher than that now. But if you wish to put a 1099 minimum 